Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can do exponents on the Casio FX 115 ES Plus calculator. To do that we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the x squared key with the shift function of x cubed that looks like this located here, the x exponent key that looks like this located here, the negative key that looks like this located here, and the fraction key that looks like this located here. If we just want to square a number, like say 5 squared, what we do is place the 5 on our screen and then press the square key. That's this one here. We see 5 squared on our screen and press equals and see we get a result of 5 squared is equal to 25. If we want to cube a number, we use the shift function of the squared key. So again, let's say we want to do 5 cubed. We place 5 on our screen, press shift, and then the x squared key, and we see a 3 in the exponent there, and press equals, and see we get a result of 125. What if we have an exponent that isn't a 2 or a 3? For example, we want to get 5 to the power of negative 2. Well, that's where we use this x exponent key. Again, we start by placing the 5 on our screen, and then press the x exponent key here, and we now have a box in the exponent position where we can put whatever we need to in. So we have an exponent of negative 2, so we start with the negative, and then 2. Note, if we're doing a negative exponent or any other negative number, we use this negative key, not the subtraction key, because that will give us a different result. Then we press equals, and we see we get a result of 1 over 25. If we want that as a decimal, we can use this S to D or conversion key here, and convert that to a decimal. So we have 5 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 0 0.04. We can also use this to solve exponents that are fractions. For example, 4 to the power of 1 over 2. We place the 4 on our screen, and then the x exponent key, and we see we have that box for our exponent. And since our exponent is a fraction, we hit the fraction key now. There we have two boxes for our fraction. So we have 1 over 2, so we start with the 1, scroll over, and then the 2 at the bottom, and then scroll out of the exponent and press equals and see we get a result of 4 to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to 2. Alright, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there everybody!